This is the Music Halls of Fame podcast for October 29th. On today's show, Pink Floyd breaks a record and Slash leaves guns. First up, though, on this date in 1971, the Frank Zappa documentary parody 200 Motels held its movie premiere. In 1983, The Wall by Pink Floyd broke the record for consecutive weeks spent on the Billboard Top 200 albums chart when it hit 491 consecutive weeks. Its final total, by the way, would end up being 724 consecutive weeks. The album whose record Pink Floyd broke was Johnny Mathis's Greatest Hits, and we have more about this particular event on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel as you hear my voice. Please like, subscribe, and do all the things that the algorithm lords love you to do. In 1993, the animated movie musical The Nightmare Before Christmas opened in movie theaters. The singing voice of Jack, by the way, was film composer and ex-Oingo Boingo frontman Danny Elfman. Elfman also composed the themes to Tim Burton's Batman, the HBO show Tales from the Crypt, and also, of course, The Simpsons. In 1994, Pink Floyd ended their final tour. In 1996, Slash left the group Guns N' Roses. He would, of course, reunite with the band some decades later. In 2004, the Ray Charles biopic Ray premiered, and in 2007, Bon Iver signed with Jag Jaguar Records. In classical music, in 1787, Mozart's opera Don Giovanni premiered. And in 1956, opera singer Maria Callas debuted with the Metropolitan Opera. There is now a movie about her life that's about to come out starring Angelina Jolie. Keep on the lookout for it. In theater, in 1923, the musical review Runnin' Wild opened on Broadway. In 1924, the musical review Dixie to Broadway opened, well, on Broadway. In 1936, Cole Porter's musical Red Hot and Blue premiered on Broadway. In 1941, Cole Porter was at it again. This time, his musical Let's Face It premiered on Broadway. And in 1977, the musical The Act opened on Broadway. Albums that were released on October 29th include in 1962 when the Beach Boys released Surf and Safari. In 1966, Neil Diamond released The Feel of Neil Diamond. In 1969, The Birds released The Ballad of Easy Rider. In 1973, Dave Mason released It's Like You Never Left. In 1974, David Bowie released David Live. In 1976, The Doobie Brothers released The Best of the Doobie Brothers, and Frank Zappa released Zoot Allures. In 1979, ABBA released ABBA's Greatest Hits Volume 2. In 1981, Rush released their classic, Exit Stage Left. In 1982, Donald Fagan released The Nightfly, and Pat Benatar released Get Nervous. In 1984, Frankie Goes to Hollywood released Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Also, Brian Adams released Reckless. Depeche Mode released Some Great Reward. That's three classic 80s albums out on the exact same day. In 1985, Rush released another classic, Power Windows. In 1987, Joe Walsh released Got Any Gum. In 1990, The Beautiful South released Choke. Freddie Jackson released Do Me Again. And Paul McCartney released Tripping the Live Fantastic. In 1991, Big Daddy Kane released The Prince of Darkness. The New York Rock and Soul Review released Live at the Beacon. And... Paul McCartney released Choba BCCCP, which was that pseudo bootleg that was released in uh, Russia, if memory serves. In 1996, Wilco released Being There. Also, Natalie Cole released A Celebration of Christmas. Ghostface Killer released Iron Man. Earth, Wind & Fire released their greatest hits live album. Huey Lewis and the News released Time Flies, the best of Huey Lewis and the News. The Who released The Who live at the Isle of Wight Festival 1970. Yes released Keys to the Ascension. Iggy Pop released Nude and Rude, the best of Iggy Pop. There was also a Message to Love, the Isle of Wight Festival 1970 compilation album. And on that exact same day as all that was going on, Joni Mitchell did a twofer. She released Hits and Misses. 
In 2002, New Order released International. Whitesnake released Here I Go Again, the Whitesnake collection. Nirvana released their self-titled album. And Fish did a forfer. They released Live Fish Volume 13, Live Fish Volume 14, Live Fish Volume 15, and Live Fish Volume 16. In 2013, Nick Lowe released a seasonal selection for all the family. And James Taylor released the essential James Taylor. Singles that were released in the UK on October 29th include in 1965 when the Birds released Turn, 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 subtitled To Everything There Is a Season. Also, Jerry and the Pacemakers released Walk Hand in Hand, and The Who released My Generation. In 1976, Elton John released Sorry Seems to Be the Hardest Word. In 1982, A Flock of Seagulls released Wishing If I Had a Photograph of You. And in 1985, Elton John released Nikita. Meanwhile, across the pond in America, in 1962, Mary Wells released Two Lovers. In 1963, Dion released Drip Drop. In 1968, B.J. Thomas released Hooked on a Feeling. Ooga, ooga. In 1973, John Lennon released Mind Games and Grand Funk Railroad released Walk Like a Man. In 1979, Frank Zappa released Joe's Garage. In 1982, Supertramp released It's Raining Again. In 1983, Daryl Hall and John Oates released Say It Ain't So. In 1984, Don Henley released his iconic song, The Boys of Summer. In 1985, Rush released Mystic Rhythms. And in 1996, 311 released All Mixed Up. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 29th include singer Tovlo, singer Eric Gales, Chris Bayo of Vampire Weekend, Toby Smith of Jamiroquai, S.A. Martinez of 311, Peter Timmons of the Cowboy Junkies, Randy Jackson of the Jacksons, Elner Bedickson of the Sugar Cubes, Kevin Debro, along with Kelly Garney of the group Quiet Riot, Roger O'Donnell of The Cure, David Payton of Pilot, Peter Green of Fleetwood Mac, singer Melba Moore, Rob Van Llewellyn of Shocking Blue, Denny Lane of the Moody Blues, Stephen Sweet of Warrant, Arnell Carmichael of Radio, Guy Gelso of Zebra, singer Ruel, singer Astrid Smeplas, Singer Fleur East, rapper YBN Glizzy, rapper superstar Stacy, country music singer Alec Bailey, and singer Amelia Mernez. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 29th include pianist Maria Anna Mozart, who passed away in 1829 at the age of 78. Composer William Bexfield passed away in 1853 at the age of 29. Composer Jacques Grégoire passed away in 1876 at the age of 59. Composer Gustav Nadebaum passed away in 1882 at the age of 64. Composer Friedrich Volkmann passed away in 1883 at the age of 68. Composer Johann Perabo passed away in 1920 at the age of 74. The conductor of the Travoli Concert Hall Orchestra, George Lumbai, passed away in 1922 at the age of 79. Composer Luciano Gallier passed away in 1931 at the age of 38. Composer Gustavo Campa passed away in 1934 at the age of 71. Composer Theodore Holland passed away in 1947 at the age of 69. Pianist William Capel passed away in a plane crash in 1953 at the age of 31. Composer Siegfried Solomon passed away in 1962 at the age of 77. Singer Michael Holliday passed away from drug issues in 1963 at the age of 38. Composer Marius Ulfstad passed away in 1968 at the age of 78. 
the legendary Mr. Dwayne Allman of the group The Allman Brothers Band passed away in a motorcycle accident in 1971 at the age of 24. Composer Heathcote Statham passed away in 1973 at the age of 83. The orchestra leader for the George Goble TV show, Mr. John Trotter, passed away in 1975 at the age of 67. Tiki Fullwood of Parliament Funkadelic passed away from cancer in 1979 at the age of 35. Composer Sten Broman passed away in 1983 at the age of 81. Composer Osamu Shimizu passed away in 1986 at the age of 74. Composer Abel Mirapol passed away in 1986 at the age of 83. Jazz clarinetist Woody Herman, the legendary Mr. Woody Herman, passed away in 1987 at the age of 74. Pianist Bella Siki passed away in 1989 at the age of 66. Jazz pianist Paul Misraki passed away in 1998 at the age of 90. Opera singer Franco Corelli passed away from a stroke in 2003 at the age of 82. Musician and comedian Vaughn Meter passed away from pulmonary disease in 2004 at the age of 68. Singer Mike Baker passed away in 2008 at the age of 45. Pianist Rudolf Kehrer passed away in 2013 at the age of 90. Pianist Muhal Abrams passed away in 2017 at the age of 87. And rapper Young Greatness passed away in 2018 at the age of 34. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 30th, when in 1987, George Michael released the album Faith. Faith. 